Why would the U.S. Navy launch cars off an aircraft carrier? No, it's not a joke or a publicity stunt. It's actually part of a rigorous testing process for some of the most advanced naval technology in the world. The most recent instance of this unusual testing took place on the USS John F. Kennedy, the latest supercarrier in the U.S. Navy fleet. These tests may look like something out of a Hollywood action movie, but they serve a critical purpose, ensuring the new electromagnetic aircraft launch system, or EMAILS, is ready to handle the immense stresses of launching real aircraft into the skies. In this video, we'll dive deep into why the Navy is launching cars off carriers, how this process works, and why it's both necessary and terrifying. Number one, the purpose behind car launches on aircraft carriers. The U.S. Navy launches cars off aircraft carriers as part of an intricate and necessary process to validate the effectiveness of the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, EMAILS. This is not about mere weight testing. It's about replicating complex aerodynamic forces and stress conditions that aircraft experience during takeoff. EMAILS represents a significant leap in naval technology, employing electromagnetic force rather than traditional steam catapults. This system promises smoother launches, greater efficiency, and the ability to handle a wider variety of aircraft. However, transitioning from decades-old steam technology to electromagnetic systems is fraught with potential risks. That's why comprehensive testing is paramount. The choice of using cars as test loads is strategic. Cars have a compact shape and diverse weight distribution that can mimic the load characteristics of various aircraft types. Each car is not a regular vehicle, but a specifically modified unit designed to replicate the distribution of weight, aerodynamic drag, and stress points found in different aircraft. The cars are often filled with sensors that monitor every moment of the launch, providing real-time data on how emails performs under stress. This helps engineers understand the system's behavior in a controlled environment, mitigating risks when it comes to launching actual aircraft, which can weigh anywhere from 30,000 to 60,000 pounds. Additionally, launching cars off aircraft carriers allows the Navy to test emails in dynamic sea conditions. Aircraft carriers operate in various oceanic environments facing unpredictable weather and sea states. By using cars, the Navy can assess how emails adapts to different environmental variables like wind gusts, deck movements, and even the carrier's own speed and direction. The data collected ensures that emails can consistently and safely launch aircraft in real-world operational scenarios, avoiding catastrophic failure during critical missions. Number two, understanding the electromagnetic aircraft launch system. The Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, EMAILS, represents a groundbreaking shift in aircraft carrier technology. Unlike steam catapults, EMAILS uses a linear induction motor to generate electromagnetic fields, providing precise control over the launch process. This system allows for gradual acceleration, significantly reducing the stress on both the aircraft and the launch mechanism. EMAILS can adjust the force applied to suit different types of aircraft, from lighter unmanned drones to heavy strike fighters, something steam catapults could not do efficiently. This flexibility is crucial, especially with the increasing diversity in naval aircraft, including the introduction of next-generation drones and advanced stealth fighters. Emails also addresses a major limitation of steam catapults, their inefficiency and high maintenance demands. Steam systems require complex plumbing, high pressure steam, and regular maintenance due to wear and tear from mechanical components. Emails, in contrast, relies on electromagnetic energy, reducing the need for extensive mechanical parts. This means fewer breakdowns and quicker turnaround times between launches, enhancing the carrier's overall operational tempo. Additionally, EMAILS is more energy efficient. It can draw power directly from the carrier's nuclear reactors, converting it into the electromagnetic force needed for launches without the energy losses associated with steam generation and transfer. The integration of EMAILS into the USS Gerald R. Ford class carriers also involves advanced digital control systems. These systems provide real-time monitoring and adjustment capabilities, offering a higher degree of control over the launch sequence. This level of precision allows for smoother and safer launches, even in challenging sea conditions. Furthermore, EMAILS has built in diagnostic tools that continuously monitor system health, allowing the crew to predict and address potential failures before they occur. 
This proactive maintenance capability is a significant advancement over the reactive maintenance cycle typical of steam catapult systems. Number three, why cars? The practicality of using vehicles for testing. Using cars for testing the email system offers a complex yet realistic simulation of actual aircraft launches. Unlike simple weighted sleds, cars can better replicate the complex variables of an aircraft launch, such as the shifting center of gravity, drag coefficients, and the impact of varying aerodynamics. Cars are more structurally complex with multiple components and a weight distribution that can be adjusted to imitate different aircraft profiles. This variability allows engineers to simulate specific aircraft launches, whether it's a lightweight drone or a heavy fighter jet. The cars are meticulously customized to replicate the unique stresses and forces that various aircraft endure during takeoff, providing a dynamic load that helps test emails more rigorously than a static weight ever could. Another critical aspect is the car's onboard sensors and telemetry systems. These vehicles are equipped with high-precision sensors to collect real-time data on acceleration, force distribution, and structural stresses during the launch. This data is essential for analyzing how emails manages the launch sequence. Engineers can monitor how the car's frame and components react to the immense forces involved, giving insight into how a real aircraft structure might behave. For example, if a specific part of the car experiences unexpected stress, it can indicate potential weak points in the launch system or the aircraft design itself, prompting further refinements. The use of cars also allows for multiple launch scenarios. Engineers can alter the car's weight distribution, adding ballast or adjusting its aerodynamics to mimic different aircraft configurations. The vehicles can be equipped with aerodynamic features like wing-like attachments to further simulate how various aircraft designs might interact with emails. Additionally, the bright paint and markings on these cars serve as visual references for high-speed cameras that record the launch. This footage is analyzed frame by frame to assess the system's performance, ensuring that every variable is scrutinized. Cars offer a balance of realism, versatility, and data collection capability that other test objects simply cannot match. Number four, the intensity and risks involved in testing. Testing the email system by launching cars off aircraft carriers involves extreme physical forces that put both the technology and safety protocols to the test. The system has to accelerate a mass of several tons from zero to over 150 miles per hour in just a few seconds. This rapid acceleration results in forces exceeding three to four Gs, which constrain the structural integrity of both the car and the launching mechanism. Engineers must carefully monitor for stress fractures or potential failures in real time, as any minor issue could indicate a significant problem when scaled up to actual aircraft launches. The sheer mechanical violence of the launch creates vibrations and shock waves that travel through the carrier's structure, testing not just the email system but the ship's ability to withstand repeated high-intensity operations. Safety is a paramount concern during these tests. The launch area is surrounded by a complex network of sensors and monitoring equipment. High-speed cameras capture every microsecond of the launch to analyze the dynamics of the event in intricate detail. Thermal sensors check for overheating in the email's components as they rapid electromagnetic pulses generate substantial heat. Engineers and crew are required to stay clear of the launch zone, and strict safety protocols ensure that only essential personnel are present, equipped with protective gear. Despite these precautions, the sight of a car being hurled into the air, often followed by a tremendous splash into the sea, serves as a reminder of the raw power involved. Each launch is a critical event that must be executed flawlessly. A slight miscalculation in the electromagnetic pulse strength or timing could result in catastrophic failure. For example, if the launch force is too low, the car may not reach the end of the catapult with sufficient velocity, potentially causing it to crash into the sea or damage the catapult track. Conversely, excessive force could tear the car apart mid-launch. The email's team must balance these factors to ensure that the system delivers consistent, controlled launches. This balance of precision and power is vital for when the email system will launch actual aircraft carrying pilots and mission-critical equipment.
Number 5. The Environmental and Operational Implications After cars are launched into the ocean during emails testing, the Navy employs strict procedures to mitigate environmental impact. These vehicles are modified before testing, often stripped of hazardous materials such as fuel, oils, and plastics that could pollute the marine environment. Parts of the car are often replaced with non-toxic materials or biodegradable alternatives. Some components, like batteries, are removed entirely to prevent contamination. The cars may also be coated with special paints that do not leach harmful chemicals into the water. These measures ensure that even when a car is left in the ocean temporarily, it poses minimal risk to marine ecosystems. In some cases, recovery teams retrieve the cars or their debris using specialized equipment to prevent damage to both the environment and the carrier's surrounding area. Operationally, the data collected from these tests is invaluable. Successfully testing emails with these cars means that the system is versatile enough to launch a wide array of aircraft from unmanned drones to next-generation stealth fighters. This flexibility and launch capabilities allows carriers to adapt quickly to different mission requirements without extensive reconfiguration. Emails provides a broader operational window, functioning effectively under diverse conditions and enabling carriers to conduct rapid launch and recovery cycles. This means a higher sortie rate, increasing the carrier's ability to project power and maintain air superiority. The adoption of emails also reduces the strain on the carrier's infrastructure. Traditional steam catapults require significant maintenance, including regular checks for leaks and corrosion, often leading to downtime. Emails' lower maintenance demands translate to less time in dry dock for repairs, ensuring that carriers remain operational for longer periods. This operational readiness is crucial for national defense, allowing carriers to be deployed globally without the limitations posed by older systems. Additionally, emails' precision reduces wear and tear on aircraft, extending their service life and reducing long-term costs.